For as long as I can remember, I was the black sheep of my family. My family knew, my friends knew, and of course, I definitely knew. So if you two have sticked out like a sore thumb from your family, then I have some really good news for you. To start this talk, I think it's very important to ask ourselves where did this predicament of the black sheep of the family come from? And it comes from the natural way of human beings. As humans, we are social and we have a need deep down, whether we are conscious of it or not, of belonging, of being accepted, not only by our families, but by our friends, by our peers, by our colleagues, we need to be accepted. But most importantly, we want to be accepted by those who are supposed to give us the most love in this world, and that's our family. And black sheep most of the time are stripped away from that. They're stripped away from the sense of belonging and they're rejected by their families. For some, it might be because their personality stands out a little bit more. And for some of us, it's because of our values, of the way that we view the world, our opinions, our sexualities, and so many more topics like that. And for most of us, and especially as children, we tend to suppress those differences in order to be accepted, even to the slightest, by those who are supposed to love us unconditionally. In other words, and to be completely blunt, a lot of us start to live a lie for most of our childhood, teenage years, and even early adulthood. And for some of us, we even try to hide our true identity for most of our lives. That's very unfortunate, but it is true. We usually notice this very early on. For me personally, it was when I was four and five years old. I used to always sense this uh, feeling of rejection and fascination at the same time from my parents. A sense of fascination at how their own child can be so different from them, yet a sense of rejection of the unknown of what this child might end up doing later on. And now that I think about it, I'm not sure if that's what caused my extreme introversion later on, but I'm sure it was a big player in that. In my teenage years, my views on religion were straight up disrespectful to them. And my views on relationships and life and how I want to conduct my life were straight up disrespectful. And for so long, as a teenager and as a child, I tried to debate my way of seeing things, my way of understanding things, but of course it was in vain. And at some point I started understanding that it was very hypocritical of me to want them to accept my views if I didn't accept theirs. And it was very hypocritical of me to want to change them, but not want them to change me. So then, after these realizations, us, the black sheep, are left with two choices of pain. One is the pain of no belonging, and two is the pain of hiding who you truly are. For me, it was the latter. Changing my views and my opinions was out of the question, because then I would be hiding my true self from myself and that would cause too much damage for the future. The pain of no belonging was a bit too much for me to handle the sensitive person that I am. So I chose to hide who I am from those who don't accept it or those who don't agree with it. I decided to take on myself and keep everything that I think to myself. I wanted to stop being looked at like I was an alien who just came from Venus and I'm speaking a foreign language and I wanted to be accepted just a little bit more and that's how I became the introvert of the family. Or as MBTI likes to indicate, I am now 97% introverted. And I want to tell you at the end how much of a blessing that is disguised as a family curse. Instead of trying to find solutions to find the middle ground with my family, I decided to find a different approach. Whenever in the rare occasion that I was having conversation with one of my family members, instead of point blank saying that I disagreed, I would ask prominent questions that I thought would help them see a different side of things. I'm not sure if it ever worked or if it ever will, but it did make me feel better because then I was sharing some of me, but without really shocking anyone. I just wanted to say my piece in the form of a question, but then of course, deep down, I thought what I thought and I felt 
what I felt. That just gave me peace for a while and it worked for a very long time. Because let's be real, when you are so opinionated about certain things like me, how can you keep your opinion silent for so long? For me, it was truly impossible. So I just found ways to sneak in my little opinions here and there without really making it too obvious, but making it more subtle. So I still wanted to belong and I had no choice but to belong. When we're children, we start to find certain ways to cope and most of the time it becomes trauma because we are unable to find true healthy ways to cope. When we become adults and we have time to reflect on our past, we start to accept who we truly are. So let me tell you this, if you're watching this and you're the black sheep of your family, you're most likely the chosen one. You're most likely the empath of the family and you're most likely the person with the most potential in your family. If we were born this way, in the environment that we were born in, it's definitely for a reason. If we learn to heal from the trauma of being not accepted, if we learn to utilize our potential, then let me tell you, we might just as well open Pandora box. We were born to stand out, not to fit in. And being born in a family that doesn't accept you is just a metaphor for that. You are here to challenge a certain perspective. You are most certainly a creative, an empath, a person with so much potential to change things, whether that's on the small scale or on the big scale. If you are still a little bit skeptical about what I'm saying, ask yourself this. Wouldn't it have been easier for me to be born in a family that accepts me and have an easier life? Of course it would have been. A happy childhood, a happy teen years, understanding with the family, love and happiness and sharing. But let me tell you this. No greatness has been born from an easy life. You, the black sheep, are standing out for a reason. Your thoughts, your values, your personality, your opinions, your empathetic side, your creativity, all of these things are going to be useful for a higher purpose, for a bigger purpose. Whether you discover it now or later, and the sooner you heal from the trauma of being a black sheep, and the sooner you start understanding yourself, you start understanding those values, you start understanding why you feel a certain way, and you start to elevate yourself spiritually, mentally, physically, then you will excel in whatever it is that you choose to do. And from a spiritual perspective, your higher self and the universe put you up to this task and put you exactly in your family in order for you to excel because they know that you are capable of things others may not be capable of. As long as you believe in it, as long as you try to reach your potential, and as long as you find a way to cope with the trauma that you have lived, then you will live up to that potential. And this is just my opinion, but I find that the black sheep of the family most likely are spiritual and they are in need of spirituality and they believe in the universe because they are usually empaths and empaths go with feeling. They go with spirits. All I have to say to you is don't waste that potential. Don't try to change who you are, no matter how extreme that may be. Listen to that intuition, to that voice in your head that tells you that maybe we need to be doing this instead, or maybe we need to create in this way. Listen to it, open up to it. I don't want to see you waste your seat of potential by clinging to the past and clinging to the trauma and victimizing and thinking that it's not fair that you were born into that world and into that environment. And yes, it's not fair, but you can do it. If you are born into it, then you can do it. Learn to heal, learn to cut ties if need be and if you can in order to heal in the best way possible so that you can fully, 
fully, fully reach that potential. Being the black sheep of the family is truly a blessing. Embrace it, heal, and find your purpose and maybe use it to change lives in the process.